I'm Martin Keane from the Homebrew Challenge. And I'm Martin Keane from Keane on Coffee. Hi, how's it going? And today I'm brewing a stout. Let's make it a coffee stout. And to make it more interesting, I'm gonna roast the beans in this popcorn maker. Let's do it. Now the way I'm gonna start off making a coffee stout is just to make a regular stout. My grains right here. Thank you Atlantic Brew Supply, crushing them up, measuring them out. Already, oh, already smelling good. Uh, so let's get these mashed in. The uh, temperature I'm gonna mash this at is 152 Fahrenheit. That's 67 Celsius. Okay, so yeah, very standard mash for this one. Gonna run it for hmm, probably about an hour at 152. Now, like so many additions when it comes to beer, there are many ways that you can add coffee into your beer. You could add it right in at the mash, a bit like I did with my pumpkin beer. You can add it into the boil and you can add it into the fermenter, either prior to pitching the yeast or after the yeast has finished working. As for what coffee to add, well, there are a lot of options for that as well. So you could just brew a regular old cup of joe and throw it in at some point. The point to keep in mind there is that coffee does have oils in it and those oils will start to affect head retention a little bit. And also keep in mind that, well, coffee is often quite bitter. So you might want to cut back the amount of hops you're adding at the bittering stage to account for that. Another option, which I think would be a really good one, is to use cold brew coffee. Cold brew coffee generally is a little smoother. It has much less bitterness and would be a great addition into the beer. To create cold brew coffee, you just simply steep coffee beans that are coarsely ground into water at room temperature for yeah, typically 16 to 18 hours. Then you could take that and add it in to your beer. Then you could just kind of cheat and you could use a coffee extract. Things like this coffee concentrate provide a pretty smooth tasting coffee. Again, very little bitterness. And you can just add this into the fermenter or even just take a drop or two and put it straight into a pint of beer. But what method am I gonna to use today? Well, I am going to be adding my coffee at the very end of fermentation during cold crash, and I'm going to be throwing in a regular old cup of joe. The recipe for today's beer is really based on an American stout. So using primarily American ingredients and just a little bit more on the hop side than you would add in say a dry Irish stout. So looking for building a beer here around sort of 10.62, around 6.3% ABV. The main base malt that I'm using, and in fact the only base malt is two row and that's at 68%. And then I'm adding three specialty malts, each at 8%. That's Munich malt, uh, chocolate malt, and then caramel 60. And then like any good self-respecting stout, very important we add these two additional ingredients, flaked barley and roasted barley, both at 4%. Now I'm going for an IBU here of around 47, just from the hops, not from the coffee. And I'm gonna get that by using as my bittering hop magnum. This is gonna go in at the start of the boil, nice clean bittering hop. And then at 10 minutes and zero minutes, that is when I'll be adding in the cascade. <laughs> uh, those things in my way. Um, okay, yeast wise. 1056, wise to 1056 American ale is what I'm using. Gonna be fermenting at 68 Fahrenheit, 20 Celsius. I'm gonna let fermentation run its course 
And when I get to the cold crash stage, that's when we'll revisit adding coffee. Well, it's been a month. The beer is well and truly fermented out at this stage and cold crashed as well. Now it's time to add the coffee. I have in here coffee that I roasted myself using a popcorn maker. It was uh, an eventful process. And uh, now I'm going to brew some coffee from these beans and get it into the beer. Now, as for the amount of coffee to add, if you are brewing a five gallon batch, then I would be adding in 600 milliliters of brewed coffee. Um, and I like to use a 16 to one ratio for my uh, water to coffee beans. So 16 parts water to one part coffee. I brewed a three gallon batch, so I'm gonna add in 320 milliliters of coffee, which works out at a 16 to one ratio of 20 grams. brewed and chilled. And given that the beer is already ready, I figure I'm just gonna put this coffee straight into the keg and then rack the beer on top. Well, if I'm tasting coffee stout, I need a coffee guy. You are a coffee guy. I sure. like coffee too, just as much as beer. And thanks for having me back. Yeah, Appreciate pleasure it. to have you back. Okay, so popcorn roasted. Super curious to see how this one's coming well, you out. Did, you did a, a pour over. A pour right? over, yeah. And then you put the resulting coffee in the keg and then transferred the beer on top of it. That's it. Okay, That's I love it. it. Yeah. yeah. Let's give it a smell. Yeah. Definitely smelled the, uh, the roasted malts. Right. Yep. Uh, color's great. Yeah. Nice and dark. Looks looks the part. Yeah. Well, I want to get into it. Yeah. Let's get into it. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. There's the coffee. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not over the top. Yeah. It's on the back end, isn't yeah. it? The coffee it's on comes. The, uh, yeah. Comes yeah. In there. You swallow, and then it's like, oh yeah, there's coffee in that. Yeah. That's exactly right. One thing I was mm. concerned about was uh, how much bitterness I'd be adding in. Uh, we were talking a bit earlier, and you were saying you'd like to actually steep your coffee beans in the keg, which is more of a sort of cold brew kind of approach. It's kind of the way I do it is, uh, I mean, you always leave it in longer. Uh, yeah. So I put the whole whole bean coffee uh, in a muslin bag and put it in the keg and then just taste it, you know, after 12 hours, 14, 16 hours, yep. and then pull the bag when I feel like it has enough coffee. Yeah, that's, that's a nice way to do it. Um, so I was concerned that by putting in you know, just a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. but uh, I would be contributing more bitterness than I intended. But actually I'm not getting any sort of no, it's, bitter it's notes from not this. overly bitter. So if it wasn't entirely obvious, do have this coffee channel, uh, keen on coffee. Yeah. So if you want to see how I did roast these beans, check out that channel. I have the whole video there of how I uh, attempted to use that popcorn maker to, to roast the beans. But Claire, thank you very much for oh, trying this. Yeah. Beer. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Cheers.